this video, I would like to give a quick demonstration of the XB API Management CLI, the first version. And I have already installed the CLI on my system, and that's why I can now call it with APIM. And um, at the moment, you can manage applications and you can manage APIs, but you can expect this to grow also to support users and organizations and maybe to see policies and that kind of stuff. Um, let's say for now, I would like to have or see the available options I have for APIs. You see, I can import APIs, which is the same as um, Swagger Promote, as with that desired versus actual state approach, I can delete APIs. And this is not only for one API, so you can say delete APIs based on certain criteria. And um, I would like to stick now on that get feature. And um, I would like to see the APIs on my stage API environment. API env, which under the hood contains um, host information, login credentials, and so on. You see at the moment I have 27 APIs and um, they are now presented in, a, in a, some kind of a normal view. And if I would like to see more information, I can say, give me a wider view about the data, which then includes um, also policies, the organization, what is the state, um, what kind of security is used for that API. And there's also an ultra view, but the more data you, you want to see on the screen, the longer it takes to get that data from the API manager, because under the hood, the official API manager REST API is used. And you see that screen is even that big, does, doesn't fit on, on, the, on the smaller screen I'm using for that recording here now. But at the end, the API management CLI is using caching capabilities to, to make it also working well with very large data set. Now you have seen that I have regenerated the, the same list again and the, uh, based, on, based on the information that has been cached. So, and um, let's go back to the normal view or let's say to the wide view. And you see that I'm at the moment not using any policies for my APIs. And you see the, there is this column policy and all of the policies are none. And let's say I would like to, to put a policy for, for that API. And now I have different options to get, that, um, to get that policy at hand. I can say, give me the policy by ID and say, I would like to have it like so. Or you can say, um, filter out by the name, filter out by the path, filter out by the state. So to get the list of APIs you would like to, to, to put your hands on. So I stick to that ID thing because it's convenient at the moment. And now I'm changing the format to be JSON. And now I'm no longer getting that uh, console print view. I'm now getting the API exported into that JSON format, as you may know from uh, Swagger Promote API export. And if I now go into my demo directory, you see there is now that known folder for every API such a folder is created. I am getting that API image, I'm getting the API definition, that Swagger file, and I'm getting that uh, configuration file. And if I now open that configuration file, obviously there is no policy configured. I see the tags, I see the applications that are subscribed and so on and the client organizations. Um, so now let's suppose I would like to add a policy to that API and um, I go and check how I can manage custom policies. I went to the um, API management CLI wiki and then there is an API configuration file entry page which gives you all the possible options and detailed explanations. And I checked for custom policies. They are managed as part of the outbound profiles. I go in here and now I'm just taking that outbound profile section and put it at any place, maybe here into my API. I leave it now like so, and let's see what happens. And now I'm trying to import that API again, API, Management API import, the state should be obviously the same. The config file is this one here, and this is my config file. And um, I made a mistake because the policy I'm trying to use is not 
a whale a wable on my uh, API manager. So it's telling me a wable request policies are request policy one, request policy two, and the sample request policy is not configured. Okay, uh, in future versions, of course, there will be features uh, added to, to have a CLI command that lists you just the policies available so that you do not need to try and try and error. And let's say I would like to have a request policy like so, and then a response policy like so. And there's also a routing policy like so. And I know there is no forward handler configured. So that should be okay. And now I try to replicate that API again. And of course, changing response policy, I made a mistake. Uh, changing that kind of configuration for an API, especially when that API is already published, which it is, is a breaking change. So, and as before, you cannot just change that without enforcing it. And I'm just saying now, please enforce that change. So now the API has been updated and I can go now back to the list view. Of course, the ID is not the same anymore, but I can go now and keep in mind that the API was named EMR system surgery. And now this one here is EMR system surgery. And I can now use one of the options to say, um, to filter out APIs to make some kind of an impact analysis. And you see, I can filter for the name, for the, for the API parts, which is obvious, but I can also filter out for the policy, which, which APIs which is using, which we host, I would like to filter out for the state. And um, there will be more filters added in future versions because the data is just basically available. And um, let's say I would like for now to filter out for the policy, which is using the response policy. So and now you get, in my case, only one API, but now you get um, policy white, that looks correct. It's interesting. Um, interesting argument. Let me, let me do it like so, policy. And the policy should be response. So every API that is using, yeah, for any reason, um, that is using a response policy, like I named it, should now appear on the screen. And now I can see um, more information about my APIs and I can make a decision. Okay, if I now change that response policy one, uh, this, po this policy is used maybe by 25 APIs or maybe 200 APIs, and then I can make a decision, is it now a good thing to change that API? So this is some kind of a um, very high level, or not high level, but let's say not providing or demonstrating all the features, the new API management CLI, but it gives you uh, a good feeling where we are heading and more features will be added in into that direction. And as you have realized, at no point in time, I have used the API manager UI anymore. And of course, even that API is published, I can now go and say, I don't care about that API anymore because maybe it is only a test system. And I can now say that I would like to delete that API. So, and then that API is gone. So which is maybe convenient um, to delete that API, uh, to delete more multiple APIs maybe on your development system or something like that to get into a fresh state. This, yep, that's all I wanted to demonstrate.